Hi everybody, I'm Damian Andrew and welcome to this DAF Media Special Championship Dreams. It's hard enough winning one state title in high school hockey, let alone three in a row. But when practice began inside this building the week before Thanksgiving, the Darien Varsity Girls ice hockey team had one goal in mind, three-peat. We wanted to come out as strong as possible because we wanted to go all the way this year and we wanted to do three in a row, which is pretty special. It was exciting because I knew that this team had so much potential from the start. I knew that we had a really strong freshman class coming in. The minute I saw them start playing, I knew that we were a team that was capable of taking it all the way. After finishing the regular season 16-3-1, Darianne entered the postseason with high expectations, but a double overtime loss to New Canaan in the semifinals of the FCAC tournament derailed the Blue Waves' hopes of winning another conference championship. Now, despite that loss in the conference semis, Darian began the state tournament with renewed energy. They shut out Simsbury in the quarterfinals before an impressive win over New Canaan, a team that had beaten them in their three previous matchups. That set up a state championship game against the Suffield co-op team. Blue Wave head coach Jamie Tropsa called it their best game of the season. Here's DAF Media's Brendan Ross with a look back at Championship Sunday. You see there, head coach of the girls ice hockey team, Jamie Trapp. So he's looking for a three-peat with him and the girls ice hockey team. And the girls are ready. We are ready. Let's start it off here at Bennett Ice Rink. Championship is underway. Kiki Trapp so sends it inside, tipped by Cal Dome. But Caitlin Chan puts it in the net. She puts it there up 1-0 over Suffield. Let's take another look at that play. Trapp so sends it inside. Passes tipped around but Caitlin Chan the sophomore makes her eighth goal on the season she puts it in the back of the net Darian up 1-0 over Suffield still first period Kate Blismo you see there comes away with the steal past two defenders only one left is Caldone in goal and she puts it through the blockers that's good Darian up 2-0 on Kate Blismo's goal let's see another replay on that you see there Kate Blismo with the steal in the neutral zone she gets out of it she's in the Suffield Wildcats zone and she's on full attack and she puts it in between the blockers that's good Darian up two to zero over Suffield still first period Darian is still on attack you see there Shay Vandenbrook from wide she puts it in the back of the net that's good Darian up three to zero over the Wildcats Darian on full force in the first period make that her 19th goal on the season for Shea Vandenbrook. Moving on to the second period. You see Lucy Edwards working her way around the back of the net, and that's good. She goes all the way around the net, puts it in. Darian up 4-0. Moving on to the third period. The Wildcats are with the puck now. Tip pass. That's good. Lupone with the goal. She puts the Wildcats of Suffield on the board. But Darian has to answer. Sally Cassidy working her way inside. She gets a goal. Darian up 5-1. Darian beats Suffield 5-2 in the CHSGHA State Finals. You see there they're surrounding Hallie Kreppen. She is the tournament MVP as you see her getting her plaque for the tournament MVP. Only a sophomore, Hallie Kreppen. She finished this game with 20 saves. Bright future. Congrats to the girls ice hockey team and the three-peat is complete. You don't realize like how important a state championship is until like you think back and you're like, wow, we're like the best girls hockey team in the state, which is really special. And I knew that this team could do it from like the minute that we stepped in this rink in November. I mean, it was super exciting to win another state championship, especially when we played New Canaan in states. I think that kind of put our season over the top because we always love playing them. It's always such a uh, competitive game. We put so much time and effort into it that it's just, it's sad that it just ends like that, but it was definitely the best way to end. And it's just a good way to finish things off. There are a number of ingredients that go into winning a state championship. One is talent. The Blue Wave had two players selected to the 2017-2018 All-State team. Senior defenseman Kiki Tropsa and junior forward Shea Vandenbrook. Well, that'll do it for this DAF Media Special Championship Dreams. For our entire production crew, I'm Damian Andrew.